Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This time, I would like to make a presentation entitled Predicting Peak Seismic Response of Retrofit 9-Story Steel Reinforced Concrete Building with Steel Damper Columns. This presentation is based on the master thesis of Mr. Hiroki Sugiyama, the second author of this paper. So, let us start from introduction. The topic I would like to talk about is the seismic retrofit of existing concrete office building using damper column. What I call damper column is shown in the left while the concept of the seismic retrofit using steel damper column is shown in the right. The shear panel damper installed in the middle of column is made of low yield strength steel. This panel absorbs seismic energy as cumulative strain energy. In this study, this steel damper column is directly connected on the side of exterior frame. Detail of the connection of additional steel damper column to existing concrete structure are shown here. The section in the left, while the, in the right, the elevation are shown. An additional steel damper column is connected to an existing concrete structure by the joint using mortar, anchor, and stud. We expect these anchors transfer horizontal and vertical forces from existing concrete frame to steel damper column. This is a photo of the static test of single-story reinforced concrete frame with damper column, which was carried out by the group of the third author at Kobe University. This is a steel damper column. The shear panel damper is here. The connection joint is here. In the seismic retrofit design, we need peak story drift of retrofitted building and maximum force at each joint. To calculate the maximum forces acting at the anchor, we need the maximum shear force and moment at joint. The problem is the shear stress is increasing due to the strain hardening effect. The shear stress of damper may increase about 50 to 100 percent depending on the yield strength of steel. This affects the maximum shear force of anchor. So, in this presentation, the nonlinear peak response of a retrofitted nine story steel reinforced concrete building with steel damper cram is analytically investigated. Especially, the peak story drift and the maximum forces of joint are predicted by the simplified procedure. So, I would like to explain the outline of a simplified procedure. First, I would like to discuss about the seismic analysis method. As I talked, how to consider the strain hardening effect of damper is the important issue. It can be directly considered in the nonlinear dynamic analysis by using proper hysteresis rule. However, it cannot be considered in the nonlinear static analysis, which I am talking as a simplified procedure, because the nonlinear static analysis is a monotonic loading while the strain hardening effect is occurred significantly in cyclic loading. So, in this presentation, we use two models, the lower bound model and upper bound model, for the consideration of the strain hardening effect. So, first, we construct two nonlinear models of frame structure. One is the lower bound model, the other is the upper bound model. Next, we predict the peak response of lower bound model as the same way as the ordinary nonlinear static procedure. A pushover analysis of lower bound model is carried out to determine the properties of the equivalent single degree of freedom model. Then the peak response of it is predicted based on the equivalent linearization technique. 
So next, we predict the peak response of upper bound model at the same way as the lower bound model. Then the predicted peak response of upper bound model is predicted based on the equivalent linearization technique. Finally, we predicted the peak response of the retrofitted building considered. Here shows the peak story drift and the shear force at joint predicted by the result of the lower bound model. We add predicted results of upper bound model. So we can determine the predicted peak response considering strain hardening effect. The predicted peak response is the envelope of both models. Next, I would like to explain the building and ground motion data. Here shows the building model used in this study. This is a 9-story st steel reinforced concrete office building model designed according to the Pure 1981 seismic design code of Japan. Before addition of the damper column, additional shear reinforcement by carbon fiber is assumed to be properly provided to the existing members in frame Y1 to prevent premature shear failure. In this presentation, two models are shown. The one is model O, which is a model without damper, and the other is model D225, which is a model with damper column. In this model, one steel damper column is installed in each story at frame Y1. This is a detail of connection joint. The size of the anchor is assumed D16, whose shear strength is 64 kilonewton. In this study, we determine the number of anchor bolt, so that the shear force of the outermost anchor does not exceed the shear strength considering the design moment of joint. This figure shows the modeling of building structure. In this study, the building is modeled as plane frame model. Frame Y1 and Y2 are connected by the rigid strap. In frame Y1, the rigid zone of each existing member is determined considering the spandrel wall and horizontal member of connection joint. The connection joint of the additional shear damper column to existing frame is modeled as a linear rotational spring and its stiffness is calculated as shown here. Here shows the hysteresis rule for nonlinear dynamic analysis. In existing members, shear failure is not considered and the behavior of all members are assumed in ductile manner. Modified Muto model shown in A is used for the nonlinear flexural spring at each existing member end. And in damper column, the hysteresis model proposed by Ono and Kaneko shown in B is used for the nonlinear shear spring. This model can consider the strain hardening effect. Note that the flexural behavior of damper column is assumed to be elastic behavior. Here shows the sued acceleration and displacement spectrum of input ground motion. In this study, 12 artificial ground motions are used for nonlinear dynamic analysis. The target spectrum for the generation of artificial ground motion is the code specific spectrum determined from the building standard law of Japan. So let us move to the analysis results. First, the prediction of the peak response of equivalent single degree of freedom model is shown here. As expected, the peak response is effectively reduced by the addition of dampers. From the comparison of model O and model D225, the reduction of equivalent displacement is approximately 34% by addition of dampers. This figure also also shows that the difference of equivalent displacement between lower bound model and upper bound model is very small. 
Here shows the comparison of peak response drift obtained from time history analysis and simplified procedure. As you see, the predicted story drift agrees well with the time history analysis results. This figure also shows that for model D225, the predicted drift for the part of structure between the fifth to seventh story is determined by the lower bound model. And moreover, the predicted peak drift for the other stories is determined by the upper bound model. This figure shows the comparison of maximum force at connection joint obtained from the time history analysis and the simplified procedure. The predicted results agree well with the time history analysis results except upper floors. This figure shows the comparison of maximum moment at connection joint obtained from the time history analysis and simplified procedure. Again, the predicted results agree well with the time history analysis results except upper floors. It should be pointed out that most connection, in the most connection joint, the predicted maximum shear force and moment are determined from the results of upper bound model. Next, we would like to evaluate the largest shear force of anchor. In this study, the largest shear force of the an outermost anchor is calculated from the, pr the predicted maximum shear force and moment. It is assumed that the maximum shear force and the maximum moment occurs simultaneously at each joint. Here shows the calculation anchor force. In this figure, the shear strength of anchor is also shown. Again, the predicted results agree well with the time history analysis results except upper floors. This figure also shows that the anchor force in all connection joints are smaller than the shear strength. Therefore, it is expected that all steel damper columns are properly connected for the existing structure by the connection joint shown in this study. Finally, I would like to move conclusions. In this presentation, the nonlinear peak response of a retrofitted nine-story steel reinforced concrete building with steel damper column is analytically investigated. Especially, the peak story drift and maximum force of joint are predicted by the simplified procedure. The results show that the simplified procedure can satisfactorily estimate the peak story drift and the maximum force of joint by using two models for the consideration of strain hardening effect. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much.